All right, everyone, we need equality of opportunity and inequality of outcome. In other words, a true meritocratic system with capitalism and all the good things in the world. Uh, this has been my idea for quite some time. I, I dabbled with some elements of leftism long ago. Then I realized that in order to impose those elements, as they're actually fomented by leftists, you need a state that will inevitably through corruption, because that's what happens when you handle money that's not yours especially, uh, it will eventually reduce the uh, system in its efficiency and most of that help never gets to the people that need it. We see this right now and the leftists aren't wrong when they're bitching about the new stimulus plan. $600 checks for every American, regardless of your race, creed, or, or nationality. Uh, uh, it's bullshit. It's not going to help anyone. Hey, sorry you lost your small business because of excessive lockdown restrictions that kept your bottom line well in the red. We're sorry that you lost your million dollar family business. Here's $600. Hey, go get some groceries. Oh wait, you can't go to the Ma and Pa store to get them because they're fucking closed. Yeah, go to Walmart. Oh, yeah, that's right. Most of it's foreign products. <laughs> You're basically asking the taxpayers to take a huge chunk of the economy and give it to China. Wow. This makes a whole lot of fucking goddamn sense now, doesn't it? Uh, what we need in the system is we need a real free market. We need more liberty. Uh, the problem is we've got too much government and people need to be treated as equals in the sense that they should all have equal opportunity. If a person is black or white. They're tall or they're short. They're male, female, or some, something from Tumblr. Uh, gay or straight. They're an immigrant. Uh, they were native born. All of these people, for especially economic purposes, should be treated fundamentally equally. If they show talent, they should be able to capitalize on that talent. If they show a lack of talent, mm, well, a society can keep them from starving, but they shouldn't expect that people are going to buy them a house, buy them a car. Get If they've shown no particular talent and no particular proclivity towards trying to develop talent, then why should society overtly reward them anything other than the ability of a basic standard living uh, such that they're not on the street begging for cash and, and you know, the crime and, and problems that are attendant to that. You can end up with like homeless communities and shit. Uh, spawning addiction and so forth and then society has to come and subsidize that and it's more expensive. I have no problem and I say, I realize this makes me a non-purist libertarian. It's almost like I have common sense and understand strategy and pragmatism. I have no problem with making sure people are not starving in the street, especially if they're uh, not, not an adult. If they're not an adult and they're not in the care properly of a parent that's capable of taking care of them or something, they shouldn't have to suffer. You create intergenerational poverty. What I would say is actually that is a very libertarian idea. Because if you want equality of opportunity, you have to at least afford the same basic education, health care, nutrition to people that are still developing especially. Because otherwise they could be very, very intelligent, but they're malnourished, their brain doesn't develop as much. And so instead of becoming a nuclear physicist, they end up taking a desk job or something. Well, it could be the next Albert Einstein, but you haven't given them the opportunity to do that. You should recognize merit and talent in people and reward them accordingly. This is where I differ from the leftists. They think that you should reward everyone equally regardless of their talent or their usefulness in society. With the same, so in other words, what I would say is if someone has shown some remarkable talent or something and you want to say, well, okay, well, you shouldn't be burdened with student loan debt because you're sitting there developing, you know, medicine that's going to save a million people. Okay, that's perfectly fine. It's meritocratic and they've been rewarded. Society can voluntarily choose to do that. I don't think that robbing the middle class to pay for it's the way forward, but that's because I'm not in Washington, D.C. and I'm not a one percenter, I suppose. The bad part, though, is that a lot of people want equality of outcome. I don't think that's a good thing. I think that there should be structural inequality in a system. People are not equal. They should be treated equal in and of the ability to promulgate based on their talent and their abilities. And they should, they should be able to do that. Nobody should be, uh, you know, they shouldn't have a five-year-old who has to skip lunch. The 10-year-old that has to spend 10 hours a day working in a shop, can't do their homework, can't learn, can't get ahead. You want lots and lots of potential upward mobility, especially for the young. Those that have succeeded should be rewarded amply. They should be helped by society to continue because they have shown they have merit. It's a meritocratic system. Society becomes wealthier, more powerful, more stable, and those people, by the way, will kill themselves at the highest rates if they have to flip burgers because they know that they're capable of doing more, but structurally and economically, sometimes they're just not capable of it. 
For example, I'm reasonably intelligent. I can edit books. I can write books. I make a living doing these things. But if I had continued in sheerest poverty and not, not had any shelter whatsoever, I never would have dug myself out of it. Right now, I'd, st I'd be homeless, I'd be dead, or I'd be stuck in a dead-end job with like five people crammed into a one-room apartment because of poverty. Thankfully, I was sheltered at the time for several years by my family, and we were poor, it wasn't a great existence, you know, the heat wasn't on until it got below freezing, basically, but I managed to have enough food in my belly to, to work at what I needed to do. But there shouldn't be a situation where a family that lives in poverty has to do that. There should be some help in order for people who are willing to take the effort and do the work can get ahead. And of course, as a society, we have largely failed at this. Instead, we focus on equality of outcome, which is not what we need. It's like with the stimulus that we see. $600 to every American. Why would we need to do that? There are people like, do I need that fucking $600? No. Fuck the $600. I, I have enough money. I have enough savings and stuff. I'm not going to starve to death because of a, a missed paycheck, but there are people that aren't in that boat. This should have been geared towards people who have lost their jobs, who have become unemployed due to lockdowns, and especially small business owners. And you should invert the coronavirus response too. Big businesses should close. Small local and regional businesses should be the ones that are open. They should be specifically helped. Take money from Walmart to pay for it if you fucking have to. They'll be fine. Most of their assets aren't even taxed in the US because they put them in the Cayman Islands or Cyprus or the Qatar or something like that. Fuck these multinationalist bitches. That's what you should do. By the way, that's how you get real capitalism. You don't get real capitalism by fucking over every actually capitalistic entity in your country. That seems to be what's happening in the Western world in favor of a bunch of, of monopolistic corporations that are multinational and don't even pay taxes. Hell, I'm not a fan of taxes. I think that everyone's taxes should be lower, including the rich, but not the multinationals because most of them don't pay jack anyway. Have them pay a 5% rate, it would be better than what we've got now, and it would pay for a tax. Well, you could lower, you cut the taxes in half for every small and regional business in the U.S. if you applied just a 5% flat tax on the corporations and refused to let them keep offshoring. I'm sure that they could go after that money somehow. I'm sure that if they paid enough uh, lawyers, they could probably go after that money in the Cayman Islands. But Mitt Romney would never vote for it because then he'd be fucking flat broke and back taxes. That's the whole problem with the system. Now, we need equality of opportunity. Nobody should be left behind, especially when they're young. Um, based, based on, like, like uh, people use an example, well, what about, like, cripples and stuff? Stephen Hawking couldn't even fucking move, but he was brilliant. Just the, the fucking, the books, from the books that he wrote or, or dictated with his, I don't even know exactly how he did that voice thing. I, could he still, like, use his, his, his voice somehow? I don't even know. I always just assume they hooked it right into his brain and he just thought the words. I don't know. It's some creepy shit. Dictating a book or two sells million copies. What if you're selling a couple hundred thousand of them in another country? That's money coming into a U.S. firm. Dude, he paid for himself ten times over just by fucking existing and being smart. His brain still worked. You know, now he's a, vet, now he's a corpse, but <laughs> up until then. Just because of the fact that he couldn't play football didn't make him worthless. That's another example. What about someone who's totally fucking brainless, but, you know, they, they, they're the golden one or something? Okay, well, then potentially that's a money-making endeavor. Yeah, that's what you need to understand. Not everyone is born equal. As a society, we can provide the rudiments of equality to allow them to promulgate the skills and the talents that they have, but once they've either done that or not, there comes a time at which they need to be mature and stand on their own two feet. That's what I would propose as the proper meritocratic society we should be operating in. And it should be ten times more libertarian than the shitty societies we're in now. We need a lot more capitalism, not less. We don't need more state control. We need to kick the state in the ass and we need to kick the multinationals in the ass. Stop monopolization. Have real capitalism again for a change. That's about all. Peace out.